back to the episode of Last Day on Earth. Free to play today, we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shortly after having hit the ever important milestone of level 15. This is an absolutely huge milestone in our free to play journey because this allows us to open up the season pass, which will allow us in a, just a few measly levels to get our hands on the ever important tactical backpack, something we are absolutely going to be rushing our patooties over through. But first, I will let you guys know about Kingdom Maker, the new free to play game of available on iOS and Android that y'all can go ahead and download from that link at the very tip the top of the description. If you guys do not know, Kingdom Maker combines RTS, RPG, and simulation gameplay to create a deeply immersive, massively multiplayer, medieval fantasy world in which players can play their own way. And it all starts with nobles. Your avatars for deeply immersive social gameplay use them for research, training, combat, dungeon exploration, interacting with other player nobles, and hey, even potentially get a little bit romantic and make more nobles. So the game plays that of a grand social RTS combat with a simplified Total War S combat for those of y'all familiar with that incredible series with extremely customizable armies. You can spectate any battle in real time or even join in on the fun yourself. See PvP fights announced in global chat and reinforce whoever you please. And this is all taking place in an incredibly fun toned unique IP world. A serious game with content that doesn't always take itself as so seriously loaded with nostalgia nostalgic classic medieval fantasy tropes with a solid dose of wit and whimsy even an occasional broken fourth wall as well to really catch you off guard and billy mays here but wait there is more beyond these larger beats kingdom maker is a unique of fresh game designs and social systems lurking around every corner that will leave genre players delighted and attract a whole new crowd and again kingdom maker is free to play on ios and android be sure to use my link at the very tip the top of the description to download a kingdom maker for yourselves for free and i don't want to say huge thank you to kingdom maker for sponsoring the video and his support in the channel but first as y'all can see over here as i am peeing and watering my lawn as y'all can see over there in the top right hand corner of the screen there is a green little arrow and this arrow it is looking at me hello green little arrow oh, what's up puppy what a puppy how you doing puppy where you going puppy 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 all right well the puppy has ran away i think it's because i'm stinky do i have a shower built yet the good news is uh i will now be building a shower Maybe. All right, so actually that's on the to-do list because I unfortunately do not have the iron ore to build this shower because I put it all in here and well, I have one iron ore, but the rest, uh, not so much. Speaking of which, we are, oh, 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 English is hard. We are over here actually building up a huge supply of uh, charcoal via all these wooden planks that we are processing. So if you don't mind if I do, I actually need to go ahead and start processing uh, some more wooden planks. So I'll take some over here and toss them into there and then I'll toss some more over there into the processing because wooden planks are literally the most efficient way of making charcoal. Definitely a reason that we want to get our hands absolutely on as much of as we humanly can. So I'll go ahead and grab a stack right over there, and then I'll just go ahead and split it up into two, put half into this woodworking bench, half into this working woodworking bench, bada bing, bada boom, that's going, and I'm pretty sure this doggo over here is actually trying to tell us something, and I'm going to go and try to listen to what that doggo has to say shortly after. Oh, no! Just kidding, not shortly after, because I thought that we might be able to get a little bit of double experience over here from the healer. That does not appear to be the case, so I suppose it's onwards and upwards, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the global map where we're going to see what is going on. You might be like, Star, but you smell so bad. I know that I do, but I will take care of that, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a nifty little shower free of charge known as death as long as i take that shower in any zone that has a timer on it and not like a resource zone we'll be able to get our stuff back so don't you worry about that also not like i have the really like the greatest things in the in the universe on my inventory oh hello puppy trails go this way i wonder what might be there well 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 i suppose we'll go ahead and find out i know that i said we we're gonna go check out the oak clearing zone but honestly with the energy that we have i do have a few priorities because we do have uh what should i call we do have the survival guide over here that i'm gonna try to get a good and chunk of work uh done on today because there are a lot of things that we should be able to get done relatively easy piece that just involve like going to zones killing a few enemies uh, stuff like that but first we do have this event kind of coming to us over here at our base and also maybe like star oh my god you are hacking the game it says zero you can buy this stuff for free i am sorry to break this to you it will not let me buy this for free i wish i could buy stuff for zero usd unfortunately uh does not work. Every time that glitch happens, man, everyone's like, Star, you are a hacker. I have exposed you. And it's like, dude, no, it, it's literally just a glitch. I'm I'm sorry to break it to you. But to the forest's edge, we go. Let's see exactly what is going to be awaiting us over here. Because if I recall, 
it might not be all sunshines and rainbows over here at the forest edge. Although I might try to actually craft up some iron hatchets and come back here because I think that there are going to be some oak trees that we might be able to clear up. Maybe there'll just be some iron hatchets while waiting uh, us here as well. I don't know. We'll go ahead and see as our free to play journey does continue. Hopefully we're not there. Have an absolutely fan freaking testing day of the most basic variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. It does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go out and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers and indeed do. That's exactly what the joy it do do. And what a pup. How's it going? And oh, a young bear. Oh! oh my god, it's yelled at 30 damage. Let me get the heck out of here. No, 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 no. Ow. The bears are taking me. Can you do a little bit more work there, sir? Bear. I actually will not. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, I, I suppose I'll go ahead and contribute to killing the bear. I was not expecting this. I, I hope that I have enough berries. You know why? The bear wants my berries. Get it? Because it, they're, they're called berries. Ha, <laughs> but um, there you go. My puns are lethal. Die, baby. Hey, come here. We gotta talk. Yeah, we gotta talk. What the heck did I just wander into, punk, huh? What's going on over here? Oh, it's a puppy. Hello, puppy. Hello, you'll be coming home with me. Don't you worry about that. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, oh, I gotta talk with you. Hold on, Nikki. I'll talk with you. Oh, look at the puppets rolling over those sword double. Hold up. We gotta go ahead and yes, sir. I'll be looting up that bear. Give me that meat bear. I need some of that bear meat. And I would have made it without you. Yeah, do I get some sort of a thank you? Some sort of a present? Something like that? I'm sure we'll meet again. That's all you got? I'm sure we'll meet again? You're not gonna thank me for saving your life? Because I gotta say... That bow and arrow was not exactly the weapon of choice for taking out that bear. I think that I was the weapon of choice. I was doing a number on that bear with my freaking crowbar, man. And this is, I, I'm trying to save this crowbar durability. I might need it to pop open some gates or something like that. But yo, let's go. I will actually take that to the bank. We got another baseball bat with the active skill mod. The Jagged Wounds got one of these at home. Guess what, baby? I just got another one, so I will gladly take that. And we also got these survivor notes that I'm actually not going to read until we get the double experience buff. Also looks like, I believe, there's only actually while we're at it man i'm gonna go ahead and just get to auto collect in this zone make sure that we go back home with as full of an inventory as possible while we are at it it looks like there's only like uh one oak tree here which is a little bit disappointing i was kind of hoping for more than just one but it is what it is oh we can pick up some mushrooms too that'll come in handy but okay never mind there are a few oak trees so i might try to get an iron hatchet crafted up and actually come back here i believe one of our survivors guides quests are actually to craft up an iron hatchet so i'll come back here and then i do need to get some iron hatchets crafted up as well uh to go and raid a some bases for another quest that we do have lined up but for now chippity choppity i'm chopping down these trees boy and all right we have gathered everything that this uh, place had to offer it did not have a ton but it does have these oak trees that i definitely want to come back to and honestly i should be able to come back to and uh, honestly it makes sense to come back to because this is on the way to some of the locations that i want to hit up during today's uh, shenanigans so we're gonna go ahead run on back home home is not too far away drop off everything that we picked up and then go over here with an empty inventory and also bring an iron hat it along for the ride potentially some clothes i mean we did get that reinforced shirt which will come in handy whenever we try to get ourselves into some uh, nonsense and shenanigans and whatnot but for now i think we should be a okay as is hello bombers pack i will not be purchasing you because this is a free to play series baby and yo the military convoy actually ooh, the destroyed convoy that is tempting me because we can get a severed finger there which can get us some really good loot at bunker alpha and popping by bunker alpha would not be the worst thing in the world to do maybe go fishing as well i don't I don't know I, I, I don't know if i i don't know if i want to use my resources right now on a fishing ground i think we got to get a little bit more prosperous before we switch gears there but luckily this event's still going to be on the map for another hour so no rush to get the stuff crafted honestly i might try to make our way over to the uh, uh destroyed convoy first yeah i think i'm gonna do that try to get some resources out of there or actually dude i feel like we should try to hit level four first so we can get that tactical backpack and have a ton more inventory room. Or maybe we just level up by killing some zombies there. I don't know, man. Decisions, decisions. You know what else we got to decide upon? Uh, building up another uh, chest because unfortunately we are running out of room yet again. That's what happens when you freaking loot as obsessively as I do. Honestly, while we're at it, let's craft up two of these puppies and put them over here into our little expanded section. Oh, baby, look at that. I got a little task completed too while we are at it. A little bit of a double win. Love to see that. Let's go ahead and toss these things down. No worries. We'll start making the base beautiful at some point. But for now, we are just trying to literally put away everything that we possibly uh, can again saving the survivor's notes until we have that experience boost so we can hopefully get even more experience from reading that thing but for now oh and then also definitely want to go ahead and put the raw meat and dry it into jerky honestly my favorite thing to do with raw meat i like it better than cooking meat because it's free you don't have to fuel the meat dryer it just kind of dries by itself which is definitely a handy dandy uh, type of thing to have now here's the thing if we're gonna be heading mm, if we're gonna be mm, 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 mm. 
I might actually bring the jerky with us and maybe toss on a little bit of armor. Oh, actually, I might be able to... Where is that? Level 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can craft up a little bit of armor here with grass and cloth and ropes. Let's do that. By no means is this the best armor in the world, but it, it's something. It's a start, and I just want to have some sort of protection as we head over to a slightly more dangerous location in the form of that destroyed uh, convoy. So let's go ahead and put all those things away. And maybe we'll get some rubber parts because the dealer actually right now does have an interesting deal going on that I think is pretty reasonable. 10 duct tape, two transistors, and seven rubber parts, and we got to get a deal done for one of the quests as well. So, you know, I, I definitely kind of like the prospect of that. We also are going a little bit on the thirsty side here, and we kind of still smell. Here's the thing. Before we head out, I don't know if I want to be smelly. So what I might try to do actually is build up some spikes so I can die. Star, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. I actually, no, I can I not craft. No, I can't craft. I mean, I got to hit level 18. All right. Uh, I might try to like die of thirst then or something, or I don't know. I guess I just want to be able to sneak up on zombies in that zone that we're heading to. And beautiful, let the dying of thirst begin. Yeah. Woo! Great success. Very nice. And there you have it. We are dead. Star, are you a psychopath? I've never seen someone so happy to die. Well, listen, when you're in the early stages of free to play, you'll take what you can get and a death is a free shower. And you know what? That is always what it will be to me. The, bu the most budget friendly shower out there. Normally a shower, you got to use two water. Not in my house, baby. All right, here you shower for free. There is the unfortunate side effect of death, but guess what? Not as bad, an overrated side effect. It's fine. We'll be just fine. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and equip our armor. And now let's go ahead and head out to the destroyed convoy. And honestly, hopefully our nonsense and shenanigans at the destroyed convoy will allow us to, uh, what you recall, hopefully get the levels we need to level four and get this tactical backpack. Because the thing is we can always run back to the destroyed convoy. It's an event that lasts for a while in the form of a whole hour. So like no huge rush on running here. It is kind of unfortunate that we would have to use the energy to run back and forth if we want to grab everything from here. But that's, you know, that's just the way she goes sometimes, bubs. That's just the way she goes. And oh, I cannot wait to one day unlock the freaking rest stop on the free to play account because dude, rest stops are seriously awesome man let's go over to destroyed convoy though y'all can see some of the awesome rewards we can get and hopefully we have a cut finger awaiting us and actually dude I, if i if i recall correctly i think the first time you go to the destroyed convoy if i'm not mistaken it's like different it's unique I might be misremembering because it's been a while since I've gone to the destroyed convoy for the first time, but there might be like a minigun like awaiting us and like, like a, a, a special configuration for this event the first time around. I don't know. Time will tell. Let's see what the freak is up, baby, and none other than a destroyed convoy. And I'm ready to freaking sneak our way uh, through this because I mean, I'm not seeing any enemies quite yet, so that's good. That's good. All right. I am seeing a few enemies. Aren't these like raiders though? Like, uh, no, this actually is a zombie. Oh, no, 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 no. We got a toxic spitter running our way. All right. Talk. Oh, no. I forgot to equip the crowbar. Miscalculation. Misinput. Misinput. All right. Hello, toxic spitter. Let's go ahead and just uh, dodge what you are slinging. And bada bing, bada boom. You are done. And let's go. We are starting to rack up, as y'all saw via those numbers that popped up above the toxic spitter's head. There's some of the points that we need from uh, the freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, for the season uh, pass, which is going to be magnificent and some sneak attacks on these zombies will also be on the magnificent side as well just got to be sure to sneak up on them uh, this other zombie might catch a whiff of us but that's all right we'll take out his friend before that goes down and bada bing bada boom you are done and let's continue our sneak attack train because especially early game man you literally want to do everything in your power to sneak attack as many enemies as possible because just the power of the sneak attack is not to be underestimated lads it literally just does triple damage and it just you know because you kill an enemy faster you end up taking less damage from the enemy it's just like a whole domino effect you know which is awesome and yo let's go dude that's some pretty solid armor we got oh that's another thing that i forgot oh let's go and a wrench love to see that man wrenches are such a pain in them but uh, to get especially early game Super stoked about that, but I totally almost forgot that his Raycon was usually a great place to get your hands on uh, some reinforced armor. I feel like oftentimes when I return from the destroyed convoy, I end up getting a lot of that, which is very, very good. Let's go ahead and just make sure that there, there is a minigun here, as you can see, and hello, Toxic Spit. They just want to make sure that you aren't going to be like spitting on me anytime soon. Okie dokie, artichokey. You're done now, son. And I believe we might actually need to put that minigun to use. I think after we pick it up, like, we might get swarmed. There we got the uh, combination uh, to Bunker Alpha, which is very nice. Here we got a dead guy with the severed finger and some more armor, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And the Bunker A card. Do we got a ton of stuff? Yeah, we definitely are going to need a little bit more inventory room to grab everything that we can from here. Uh, but before we move forward even more than that, I believe it's time 
for us to pick up this minigun and uh, what's the worst that could happen, eh? There you go, I got a minigun. It appears to be invisible in my hands for some reason and goodness gracious, we got a lot of people swarming us! Hey! Oh my goodness, I do have to admit though, it is pretty satisfying to just be able to mow these folks down. All right, just don't mind me just slowly running away with the minigun and oh, swing, better, 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 swing! Oh yeah, that is beautiful. That is a level up right there. And oh goodness gracious, we got a floater bloater. Luckily, the floater bloater appears to be a little bit on the slower side, but it gives us a good opportunity to run away and mow you down from the safety of far away. Let's freaking go, baby. And we got another level up coming our way as well. Let's see what skill we got coming our way. Hopefully something good. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll continue kind of leveling up to Lucky just so we hopefully get a better loot if luck is on our side. We got some new blueprints. We actually should now be able to reinforce this armor that we just crafted via, uh, what you call these things over here, which is definitely gonna be a nice improvement. We just gotta get our hands on like some glue and stuff like that, but that should be pretty doable uh, for sure, for sure. Let's continue grabbing all of that. And now it is time for us to calm down a little bit and actually loot up the destroyed convoy in its entirety because there is still a lot more in the form of the actual vehicles and chests that we could open up that should have some pretty good goods in store for us. But again, dude, super stoked about the finger that actually, hold on, I haven't even grabbed the finger yet. I definitely want to be sure to grab that thing. Uh, I'll leave behind... I'll just leave behind these tools for now. I mean, I, I'm going to have to end up like coming back for them eventually, right? Just continue grabbing uh, all the rope and cloth that these zombies should be dropping. And then we'll go ahead and continue looting up the convoys. I think if we're lucky, we might even be able to get like some first aid kits and other stuff uh, from some of these things. That's just the bunk uh, code. Don't really care too much about that at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. beep. And let's see what's behind chest number two or three. I don't know. I've kind of lost track of the amount of chests that we've opened up. A little bit of water. I mean, we'll come back for that. I think one return trip should be enough for us to grab everything and make sure that nothing is left behind. But I think the back of these convoys is where we might be able to get like a steel plate or even like a first aid kit or something like that, if I recall correctly. Oh, I'll take that though. We got our hands on a blueprint in the form, what was that, the extended mag or like the foregrip? That's actually pretty nice. We got a few things here in the form of the aluminum plate and some more electronics, which will definitely be super handy once we build up our recycler. Recycling electronics is literally one of the best things that you can possibly do. And let's go ahead and open up, I believe, the last of the chests. Actually, then there's gonna be like one more Jeep, I think, awaiting us. Just a little bit of water there, kind of lackluster, but that's right, we'll roll with the punches. Uh, oh, we still got one more chest over here, but then I think the back of this Jeep should also have some pretty good stuff. I, I, from what I recall, I think the vehicles have the best things out of this event. And let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! A whole steel bar, dude. Early game steel bars. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. freaking lootly. I'll be taking those. Let's see what's over here inside of the bag. Hopefully something just water, dude. I feel like all the bags just have water. Uh, and then if I looted this, right? I Oh, I haven't looted this yet. Okay. Hopefully one final good kind of clump of loot because again the vehicles have made me happy the chests have not but the vehicles have and let that theme freaking continue baby yeah we are definitely gonna have to come back with an empty inventory to grab the rest of this stuff so if you'll excuse me let's go and make a quick run back home drop off some stuff come back grab the rest drop it off and then continue with our nonsense and since we've already pretty much cleared out all the enemies that we got to worry about i will also go there with empty hands and pockets so we can just fill up our inventory absolutely as much as possible also how close are we to getting our first level over here on the season pass about halfway to the first level again we only need a few to claim the most important prizes because like i have reiterated many times at this point just hitting level four will be really important especially because technically this season does end uh in about eight hours at the time of me recording this so the good news is if we play our cards right and at the very least hit level four get that tactical backpack shortly after a new season should begin and uh, lately there appear to have been kind of similar rewards in each season in that like i think we'll be able to get another tactical backpack at level four of the new season pass that should be beginning later today, which is definitely a very, very interesting development. But all right, onwards and upwards, baby. Let's go over to the destroyed convoy and grab the rest of the stuff that we missed. And there you have it, lads and lads. He's picked up everything that we missed uh, from this event. Definitely some goodies. You want to go ahead and hurry home as soon as possible. So we're going to go ahead, do that, drop the stuff off. And then I reckon we make our way over to Bunker Alpha with that severed finger and this Bunker Alpha card that we got and claim some of the loot that we can from there. Also, another thing that I really want to do, dude, especially because we have the machete, so you should be able to do this is I want to head to the Crooked Creek Farm and kill the mini boss there because we should be able to get a ton of points for the battle pass relatively easily, which will actually be really nifty. Also, maybe make a pit stop over to uh, the mining location as well. We, we definitely got... Ooh, and there's an airdrop over there as well. Yeah, I reckon that might actually be a pretty good idea. But all right, for now, 
Let's run home really quickly, drop this stuff off, then we'll make our way back over to Bunker Alpha with that severed finger and try to grab some of that loot. We're also at like four green cards already, which is nice, or green tickets. Only 16 more of those, and we'll be able to open up a green ticket uh, thing over here at Bunker Alpha, which will be uh, pretty nifty and beautiful. We have got our inventory ready and rearing to go over to none other than Bunker Alpha. So let's go knock this out. We should be able to get some easy peasy tasks from uh, that as well. Points towards the survival guide, which will then get us some free loot, which is always great. And then we'll go ahead and pop over that finger like we were saying. And we have arrived. Let's see what all the hubbub is about. This zombie... Oh, let's go do the free pistol. I'll take that. I totally forgot we apparently get a free pistol. Once we get a true friend dog, we get a free minigun over there, which will definitely be pretty nifty. But okie dokie artichokey. Also, what is that over there? That little like icon. You guys see that? It's like a little uh, clue or something. Oh, hold on. I think that's for, isn't there like a scavenger hunt event going on right now? Yes, there is. And actually, I think we should get, oh, dude, heck yeah. We'll actually get some free loot from the scavenger hunt. I, that, that's what I'm talking about, dude. I'll freaking take that. Let's pop this puppy open with our bunker alpha card. Finalize it. And let's go. We should be able to open up all these lockers over here. And from what I recall, they should have a little bit of loot. I don't remember exactly what they had because I, got, I don't remember the last time that I, oh, let's freaking go, dude. What? Okay. I will happily take all the stuff that I just saw in there. Will every one of these lockers surprise me that pleasantly? I don't think every one of them will, but I will say they're looking pretty nice. I'm just gonna try to consolidate all of this loot and get it into one locker because the good news is is that all the stuff that is over here in the lobby of Bunker Alpha or in like the top floor of Bunker Alpha should never like disappear so I can like safely leave it here and just come back for it next time when I'm in town or something like that. Uh, but whatever is actually in Bunker Alpha can disappear. So we just gotta kind of definitely keep eyes and keep some tabs on the insides. Oh, let's go. We found that poster that I was talking about, which I think actually just got us a free cleaver thanks to the fact that we found that. Would I be correct? Yes, I would. Thank you very much for that free cleaver, baby. I will take that, and I think some of the other locations we're going to be trying to hit up today should also get us some more of those poster boards, which will be a pretty nifty. Let's go, and we got even more stuff, and some of that glue that we need for reinforced armor. Happily take that. Just put away everything that we can uh, for now. Another crowbar? Oh, let's go. Heck yeah, dude. Crowbars are going to be really nice, because again, we need one of these crowbars to open up, uh, open up some gates at some point. I actually think at the watchtower, we might require this crowbar. Uh, to open up a gate or something of the sort. And hold on. Just go ahead and put that stuff over into the other locker. See what these two lockers got for us. Then we'll open up the code into Bunker Alpha. Make our way down there. Knock out a few zombies that are going to be awaiting us. And let's go. We got even more rubber parts and duct tape coming our way. Definitely two raw resources that are going to come in handy here. In the early parts of the game, I know duct tape we're going to need to like craft some of the proper tools like hatches and stuff like that. So definitely going to be stockpiled on those. Dude, love this, man. Literally just opening up Bunker Alpha and you get like a nice little haul of loot. Like the first time around, it says like, oh, welcome. Like, oh, welcome to Bunker Alpha. We're going to inflict, we're going to inflict some pain and suffering on you down the line. Don't you worry. But in the meantime, enjoy some of these free things. And you know what? Heck yeah, I will enjoy them. Also enjoy punching in that magical sequence of numbers uh, to 1627 uh, uh, to pop this puppy open and make our way down into the depths of Bunker Alpha. And see exactly what awaits us. And what we are doing that, don't forget to go to the link at the very top of the description. Twitch TV slash star We're real live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Playing some blast down. Have an absolute ball and a blast of a time. We got the face cam on. We got the live chat rolling. Always getting off the weekend right with some last day on earth action over at twitch.tv slash star Always live. Same time, same place, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So let's make it over there for the very first time. And you know what time that it starts in your own local time zone. So that's the same time that it starts every single week. So hopefully I see y'all there uh, repeatedly. And we can kick off the weekends together in the best way, shape, form, and fashion, baby. And let's see what's up here in the vetting machine. Some free sneaky snacks. I'll happily take those. If you guys don't know what time that, that stream starts in your local time, so twitch.tv slash star slash slash schedule. Also link in the description and in the pinned comment. We'll be able to help you out and let you know what time that it starts in your local in your own local time zone, which is definitely a handy dandy thing uh, to have because time zones can definitely be confusing. I totally understand that. And yeet! Let's go and take down the stats. Before he even gets a single hit off on us. You'll love to see it. I already see another poster over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. Uh, and then I can open. I can't open this actually until we get the overseer. I forgot about that, man. Uh, so we will work on that. Let's just pop this puppy open. We got this zombie protecting this doorway. Guess what, baby? You didn't do a good enough job. Cause Papa Star is coming. And you ain't even gonna hit, get a single hit off on me. Let's go and we continue getting some green tickets and stuff, man. We should be able to honestly open up a green ticket crate in the not too distant future. Pop open the terminal and let's see what we got inside. If I recall correctly, I believe there should be at the very least like a pistol and then some other goodies uh, coming away. So hopefully big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Yes, sir. And some full durability military boots. Blow, you love to see that. I'll happily be taking that straight uh, to the bank. And all right, we still got a few more loot receptacles that we want to get. For 
first things first. We want to take out the rest of these zombies over here. But yeah, looking forward to seeing you over there at twitch.tv slash star, star, star slip. Always a great way to kick off the weekend. No, they noticed me. Why have y'all noticed me? This is nonsense. I was definitely being very sneaky deaky, dude. Talk about rude, but that's all right. I'll take y'all down nonetheless. But looking forward to seeing y'all over there. Always a great time and love to have it because it's a bit of a change of pace from YouTube and the fact that we also have the face cam on. We got the live chat rolling so y'all can literally participate in the stream in the chat as things are going on and making for a, a very unique experience. So hopefully y'all enjoy the heck out of and hopefully I see y'all at an hello fast bite. Hopefully I see you six feet under. Beautiful. Yeah, that's exactly where he will be waiting. Let's see what we got over here in this bookshelf. Always want to loot up this little shelf over here in Bunker Alpha. Every time it respawns, so you can get your hands on like a wrench, I believe, on like a hammer, on tickets. Let's freaking go. And we got our hands on multiple of the things that I just mentioned. I will just leave the trash behind. There's really no special purpose to the trash, unfortunately. I know, but it is what it is. And uh, we will now make our way into the depths of Bunker Alpha uh, today. I will open up this puppy really quickly because I believe, yeah, there is a floater bloater waiting us in here do we take them down oh well you know what we're engaging in the combat regardless and he's doing a good chunk of damage to us which i was uh, totally not anticipating but i'll just go ahead and eat up a little bit of food here occasionally to keep us slightly above our dying point and beautiful he goes down and that's just the shower room didn't really get anything special from that was that really worth the combat honestly i don't even think it was but whatever let's make our way back up to the top side of bunker alpha and here's the here's the nifty thing man again bunker alpha and this top floor can serve as like a nifty just little kind of like pit stop where you can safely store things in this top floor in the ground floor so to speak a bunker alpha and not worry about losing it so the nice thing is that we can store stuff here and bring it back to our base later so instead of us having to go back to base right now and drop everything off that we can that we collected we can just go over here drop off what we've got so far and you know just kind of cross that road when we come to it and look at that it uh, talk about freaking beautiful baby we're already ready for our next adventure except for the fact that we have definitely suffered a uh, little bit of damage over there and where we are going next there will probably be only more damage awaiting us also really quick just gonna do a quick loop to loop around this map because i forget if like another poster can potentially spawn in somewhere else i don't know that there are more posters down in the depths of bunker alpha but again we are not really well equipped right now i'd say to actually venture too deep into the depths of a bunker alpha no worries that time will be coming because bunker alpha is a huge part of the early game last day on earth kind of like ecosystem and definitely a great way for us to get plenty of important parts especially when it comes to building up our choppers so that will be coming soon but in the meantime back to the overworld map we go and next up ladies and gentlemen and the reason i kind of emptied out my inventory a little bit is so we can make our way over and do the watchtower and see what nonsense we can get ourselves into here because i believe if i recall what happens at this watchtower we have to like repair a generator or something like that i, I forget exactly the parts that we need to repair it so we will make note of that as soon as we get here and then we'll go ahead and make our way back to base collect everything we need and try to get this watchtower repaired absolutely as soon as possible and then from there onwards and upwards only direction that we know baby so watchtower show me what you got i think we need a crowbar to like open up the gates of the watchtower i also think there might be a poster here from what i recall oh hello 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 gorgeous and it appears we've got a bit of a big zombie already awaiting us so we definitely want to kick things off yeah it's a floater bloater let's definitely kick things off with a nifty sneak attack to do a bunch of damage right off the bat this floater bloater oh only doing seven damage per it let's go apparently the floater bloater is here are a little bit on the weaker side which i'm not complaining about man i will happily take uh some slightly weaker float of bloaters and then i'll try to get some sneak attacks up on these enemies yeah and i think i see a poster over there too so we'll be able to get uh, some more loot as well but uh yeah here's what we're going to do i see a zombie officer over here i'm going to heal up a little bit i'm going to try to take down the zombie officer and i'm going to try to get into a 1v1 here with the zombie officer because he's a little bit on the faster side and just try to fight him one-on-one -on -one. and do not want to get the hungry chomper involved quite yet that's gonna be a bit of a tougher zombie because i believe unless this zombie chomper is nerfed that he actually oh what our weapon is broken Ooh, that is unfortunate hold on really quickly just doing a sanity check do you heal when you hit me okay yeah so this hungry chomper does heal whenever he hits us hmm this is going to be interesting we might want to bring a pistol into play here or just some way of dealing with the zombie from a distance we should have oh i believe we actually have like a winchester in our inbox we might be able to take out this would be like the perfect situation to bring that out to play i was also going to try to bring that out to play uh over at the crooked creek farm to take out some of the heavy hitting like savage giants but also a winchester up against an enemy like this is perfect and oh a crash plane that we are definitely going to want to hurry to okay so you know what we might come back to the watchtower because we've got a pretty big priority over here in the form of the crash plane that we like 100% want to hit. 
extremely badly. Um, so I'm gonna run here first to just get the most bang for our buck out of our energy. We'll be back to the watchtower. Don't worry, I'll come back prepared as well. Uh, but we are definitely going over that crash plane as soon as humanly possible. And we do have a decent amount of loot or room in our inventory, which is perfect. We got to run over there. We don't have the energy, but we can watch an ad and get some energy. Or I think this might be kind of like the better bank for our buck play right now. I believe, yeah, we got one energy drink. Let's put that puppy to use and let's run over to the crash plane with our newfound 54 energy from there. We'll run on back home and get some stuff, but uh, the crash plane should have some goodies for us. How have we not leveled up at least once, man? We gotta be like, okay, no, so we are a level one. I'll happily take that shotgun. Thank you very much. Just uh, 300 more points to go before we get our hands on that tactical backpack and taking out that boss at the Crooked Creek Farm should be a pretty easy piece of way of doing that. So over to the crash plane we go for now. And uh, there should be plenty of goodies awaiting us here. Problem is, we're not going to have enough inventory room. And since we don't have that tactical backpack yet, we're not going to be able to grab all this stuff in one go. So we will have to prioritize a little bit here to kick things off. But always want to capitalize on the crash plane as soon as it appears. Because it only appears in the early game. And it's literally just free loot. It's, it's like a giant treasure chest that came raining from the sky. Except in the form of a crash plane and a horrific disaster. But loot! So we'll get our hands on that. And let's go ahead and pop over the first chest and get this zone off with a bang and uh, there's some okay stuff the gold bars actually come in handy early game because we can use that to trade with the trader depending on what the trader is looking to do deal wise we're so happy to go ahead and pick up uh, some of those go ahead and pick up some of those already seen some duct tape some nuts and bolts which again will come in handy for a little bit of crafting and repairs that we got to worry about let's go and see what chest number three has got in store for me we got some more electronics, which is uh, beautiful. I believe both the watchers and the electronics, we should be able to recycle in our recycler, which uh, we still got a few more levels to go. Got it level 32 before the recycler becomes craftable. We are going to need some, uh, what should we call? Uh, the, the, what's the thing that I'm thinking of? We are going to need some... I'm having such a big brain fart right now. Uh, oak planks. Oak planks to craft that up. So getting oak planks in some way, shape, form, or fashion will definitely be pretty important. Here's what I'm also going to do. I'm going to leave behind the items that don't stack so we can try to grab as many items that stack at once and then just come back for the items that don't stack later. I think that that is going to be a good play here. Like, yeah, we got a crowbar over there that kind of fits the bill. You can't stack weapons. You can't stack armor. But any of these resources that we can stack, we'll just go ahead and try to grab as much of as possible in one go and then come back for the unstackables at a later point. Also, I, I could always come back naked as well because, I mean, I, I saw that there was armor here that we can pick up. So coming back naked, actually looting this place naked would have been a great play. Kind of made a boo-boo and uh, not doing that, man. So the, 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 what, what can I say? If you know you're going somewhere safe to loot, Go naked. Have a, have a blast. Have some fun. Just go naked and enjoy yourself. And also, potentially don't even bring a weapon. Although, I do think there's a chance that, like, a zombie spawns in this location. But it's usually just, like, what? A roamer? 40 health? You could punch that thing to death, man. Mike Tyson style. Flow like a beast, sting like a butterfly. Oh, baby! A Glaucoma. With a active skill ability. Yeah, that's nifty. That's very, very nifty. All right. I think we just got three more chests over here to go. Then we'll make our way back home. We might be a little bit short on energy, so I might need to, like, watch an ad or something to get the energy to run back there. And then I'm going to talk to the healer, get a full energy recharge from the healer, and then run back here as soon as possible. And, uh, I believe taking things from there ought to be a good idea. But, yeah, there's only, like, a few things that we missed out loot-wise. And, again, it's mostly just armor and weapons everything else. Luckily, was able to stack in a relatively nifty fashion, except for that beer. And, again, beer isn't the most important thing. It just makes you instantly want to pee. But the interesting and kind of good news is that uh, it is occasionally... Oh, no worries, military backpack. I'll be getting a tactical backpack in no time flat. Don't you worry about that. But uh, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, uh, no. Uh, I'm brain farting so hard. Um, 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 I don't know, man. That, that pop-up totally derailed my train of thought. I'm sorry, man. My, my, my brain might as well just be a train yard of destroyed trains with these trains of thoughts that constantly are getting derailed. But I think we're going to be a little bit short, like I was saying, on energy to make our way back home. Yeah, we got 23. We need our hands on 30 tree. But I'll watch Ned get the rest of the energy that we need. Bada boom, bada bing. It's Mr. Worldwide. We're good to go. And beautiful. Up to 39 energy we go. Let's run on home. Drop off this stuff. Talk to the healer, get a full energy revamp, and then make our way back to the plane within the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Hello, healer. Please, I need all of that energy back. 
Thank you. But okie dokie, all of the loot has safely been put away. The healer has been talked to, although I hope that we got the energy. Okay, beautiful. We got the energy from the healer. I'm not gonna lie. It was weird. I got like a weird ad that like I couldn't exit out of. So I was worried that something glitched, but no, good news. We got the 200 energy that we need, which is lovely because we got to hurry our way back to that plane because we literally did leave like the best stuff behind. And if I wasn't able to get back there in time, I would have been absolutely butthurt and beyond salty, brother. But luckily we should be able to make it there in a plenty of time to spare so back to the crash plane we shall go let's collect that freaking i think there was there like a, i hope there's like a machete or something in there too i definitely want to have like ideally like a full durability machete or something to bring to the crooked creek farm along with like a winchester or something like that but for now i know for a fact there's a pistol there a few pieces of armor we'll be able to grab also while we're at it when in rome uh we should definitely visit Bunker Bravo, because I think literally just visiting Bunker Bravo and also the Infected Forest will get us a little bit of experience too, which is kind of nifty. Also, even the Pinewood. I don't think we've actually like physically visited the Pinewood yet, so kind of making a quick pit stop by there. Also, not the worst idea in the world, but all right, we're back at the crash plane. I'll grab everything that we missed and we'll take it from there. And there you have it. Literally everything that we left behind. Not much, but definitely not things that we want to leave behind to begin with. So we have yet another successful plane looting under our belt. Let's get the heck out out of here and make our way over to bunker bravo collect some of the points for that and then we'll we'll claim a bunch of the points that we have waiting us uh over in the survival guide too because we have knocked out a few quests uh since the beginning of the episode which means that we should have some nice loot coming our way and maybe i mean here's the thing when we go to the crooked creek farm and we got to take out like a few savage giants not enemies that you want to get into melee confrontations with but they're slow enough where you can uh, kill them with some of the weaker ranged weapons in the form of like the zip gun and the Winchester. So that's kind of like the strategy I'm crossing my fingers for. But yeah, I got a level 35 for Bunker Bravo. Are you serious? Well, that's unfortunate. And, and for the infected dude, when did this happen? Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I have apparently lied to your face. I, I, dude, these level caps were not a thing in the past. You were literally able to visit these locations whenever the hoot you wanted to. That appears to have obviously have changed at some point. So whatever, let's stop by the Pinewood because we do have a quest that wants us to pop by over here and also maybe try to take out a few enemies while we are at it. Although I am kind of naked and if a strong enemy attacks us, I will die and lose everything. So all draw to keep the confrontations to a minimum. I actually dude, I could maybe just throw on the military armor. So we'll be when we already have it. Yeah, might as well. I don't know. It is like decent military armor, but it's actually, I don't know. It's like the, both the pieces we got were like under 50% durability, right? So as long as I don't get like instantly attacked by an enemy. Yeah, I'll, I'll toss these on. Crowbar or cleaver? The cleaver does 17 damage. So does the crowbar. The crowbar actually attacks faster than the cleaver. That is weird, man. I always feel like the cleaver attack faster. So I'll try to take down a few enemies over because we do have a quest that wants us to take down enemies. And as long as we kind of keep it to the easier enemies and don't get into any massive confrontations, should be pretty easy peasy. Hello, Dr. Spitter. Just trying to be aware of all the freaking spit. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Uh, but whatever. Again, oh, we got another toxic spitter coming away. Hello, good sir. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Please don't spit on me. Beautiful. No spit for you. And onwards we go. We want to try to be sneaky deaky wherever we can. That looks like a big enemy. Hopefully that's not a toxic abomination. Because I really do not want to fight a toxic abomination right now. Unless maybe I get like a katana or something. Oh, of course there's a toxic spitter, dude. What is it with toxic spitters and having like the freaking... They're, they're, they're like freaking spidey senses are tingling, man. The range on these guys. The, they, just, they just lock onto you from like half, half a country away, dude. They are crossing multiple state lines to track us down. And it's rather rude. If you ask me, let's freaking go, dude. As long as I walk out of here with like a full inventory, I'll actually be pretty stoked. What do we have here? Toxic abomination or a Flota Bloda? I'm pretty sure you have a quest that involves taking down Flota Bloaters, so I'll eat a little bit of this. So we have the health and let's get into a tussle. Unless like, I am worried that maybe there's a Toxic Spitter that's about to jump me from a different angle. So I'm gonna try to take out some of the surrounding enemies before I fight. Yeah, there you go, a Toxic Spitter that was definitely about to attack me. I will take you down first and foremost. And beautiful. Now I will get into a confrontation with the big bad fella because that's the last thing you want to do, especially early game, dude. Hold up, hold up. We want to get a little bit far away. Oh, that's just a person. Yo, what a person? How you doing? You you appear to have a good weapon on your hands. Don't run away from me. Get back here, punk. No, bro. That person definitely had a machete on them, and they just ran right ran right away from me. Gosh darn it, man. Well, all right. Let's get into a confrontation with this floater bloater. Hopefully not die. And thank you down, easy peasy. You want to do like some sumo wrestling moves, Mr. Floater Bloater? I will happily get out of the way. Also, once I kill you, I should actually be able to maybe get enough experience for a level up. Yeah? Yeah! 
Ah, <laughs> great success, baby. I'll take that. We get a free uh, boost up to full health, and we just got our hands on a perk. I just want to be careful here and not die. Fisherman's luck. Uh, strict diet or careful. I'll take the fisherman's luck, man. Why not? I feel like early game fishing might actually be uh, relatively nifty and definitely something that I wanted to try out. I see a dead person over there on the map. We're going to go and investigate what the heck that is all about. Maybe that's what that survivor kind of did whilst they were over here. And Ooh, okay. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what's happening. I heard footsteps. We just want to be a little bit careful about that. Um, So, I will get rid of the bottles of water. Uh, what? Uh, and uh, try to pick up some stuff that seems to be a little bit more rare to come by. Scrap metal and stuff. I don't know, man. Also, paint, dude. I don't really care about paint. That's more of a cosmetic thing. Early game, dude. I'm not really too worried about cosmetics. Love to see the green ticket coupon that we were able to get our hands on. I'll happily uh, take that. And a... Oh, a dead toxic abomination, dude. That person went ham, egg, and cheese. Oh, no. Is that a toxic abomination over there? That is... Well, all right, man, whatever, man. I like a little bit of a challenge. Let's get into a confrontation with the Toxic Abomination and see how this goes. Get a good check of experience out of this and put our crowbar uh, to the test. No sumo wrestling moves out of you. I'm disappointed, Toxic Abomination. You put out an awful show, but that's all right. I'll take you down nonetheless, baby, and maybe try to open. Yeah, okay, we got one more chest. I and mean, if I could open this without, like, angering anyone nearby... I'll take it, man. You never know. We might find, like a, like, a katana or, like, a weapon in one of these... Like the chest, you never know, dude. It really is a mystery box. Nothing good, but some loot to stack up our current supplies. I'll happily take that. And also some enemies with their bags turned to us. Definitely want to capitalize on this because there are literally quests that involve killing enemies in these zones. So we want to kill as many as we can. And if we can get some sneak attacks on them and just wrap things up easy peasy, might as well do it. And look at that, a task completed. Like I was saying, literally tasks awaiting us just for taking these fellas down the old fashioned way by beating them to death with a stick, pretty much. Let's go. Uh. Let's loot you. I'll collect some of that cloth. Thank you very much. And there were a few enemies with their backs turned to us over hither. But I would also like to capitalize upon tons of foxes, man. Goodness gracious. All right, fox, get out of the way. I don't want to accidentally sneak attack you. I'm just trying to take out, like, the fast biters and stuff. And we'll take down the rabbit wolf from there. I will eat your uh, meat. Thank you very much. Might as well, because I'm not bringing that back home with me, man. My inventory is filled with other resources at the moment. And okay, another chest. And also another dead person. Okay, that's just the person. Oh, no, I got into a tussle with that freaking toxic spitter. Also, our armor is definitely taking a beating, but yet another task completed. Yeah, our helmet's about to break. I'd rather it not break because we could actually recycle that on the recycler and get a little bit of experience for our recycler. So after we open up this chest, I'm going to dippity doo da dippity day our way the heck out of this zone. And oh, let's go, dude. That's nice. Oh, definitely want to pick up that glue. I'll leave behind the cloth. We only had two of that. There are some other good things that I really do not want to miss out on, man. Uh, I hate when this type of stuff happens. Decisions, decisions. You know what? I might just say uh, to heck with the expensive watch and grab. Nah, nah, whatever. I, I, I'm happy with what I got. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I reckon we've had a pretty successful run. Maybe get like one more sneak attack off because this person appears to not be paying attention. And if I can get an easy peasy sneak attack, I will get an easy peasy sneak attack. Beautiful, beautiful and beautiful. Oh, hold on. We see another person. Hello. I mean, listen, sneak attacks are sneak attacks, man. And all these enemies got 80 health, which means that they die pretty freaking fast. We like fast kills. They are efficient, they are effective, and they are very nice. And oh, man, some of that cloth that I am not currently picking up. All right, let's get out of here. We're easily able to knock out a few quests literally right along the way. Our inventory is full. Let's go back home, drop this stuff off, and plot from there. Oh, and would you look here? The healer has reappeared, and he's got the double experience. Oh, that is exactly what I wanted to see. Give me that experience, baby. I'm gonna go read some books. And lovely, the brain weed seeds are taking full effect. Let's go and read those books that we have picked up uh, throughout our adventures thus far, ladies and gentlemen, because they will have some beautiful rewards uh, coming our way in the form of way more experience than we would normally be getting. I think I had them, I forget exactly, English was hard. I forget exactly which chest I had them within, but it should be one of the chests over here while we go in and drop off all of these supplies we have been stockpiling uh, thus far. And there you go, bada bing number one, bada bing number two, and do you hear that? That's the sound of multiple level ups already coming our way. And what do we have over here? Food restores more health. I actually like that a lot. I will definitely take that. We got another level over here. Let's continue trying to get lucky with the loot that we are getting. And we've got our hands on more blueprints as well. Let's go and take off some of that armor because it's taken a bit more of a beating than I was uh, hoping for. But since we want to head to some dangerous locations here in the not too distant future, I don't know. I'll, I'll just keep the normal armor. I think we should be able to do pretty all right with just that. And then we'll bring the cleaver as a backup weapon here as we get ready for some additional 
adventures. But before we get into the additional adventures, let's get into that survival guide and all the things that we have been knocking out because there should be a good chunk of quests that we have kind of gotten, right? Yeah, look at that, man. Already up to level 14. Happily, we'll take all the stuff from there, including some coins, a saw blade mace, and really not like some pretty not nif not too nifty. No, not 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 nifty. I don't know. Better than nifty. Long story short, we're getting some really good stuff. We got some pretty good stuff coming our way as soon with just a few more levels. And given some of the nonsense we're going to be getting into, we should easily be able to knock out a, a few more of these quests in the not too distant future. Get to the watchtower. Oh, I got to travel to a different watchtower for that. That's right. I know what watchtower that is. That's over by the farm. We can knock that out next time. I say next time because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing that into this episode of Last Day on Earth Free to Play. When we return, we continue working our way through the survival guide, getting some more points for that. Hopefully by then we have that tactical backpack coming our way. We're already halfway to level three and level four is very close. And honestly, dude, even at level five and getting one of these things from the Pathfinder's pack, honestly, if we're lucky and get the milk core or a minigun, or if we're extra lucky and get one of these items as well, that would low key be kind of huge. So hopefully luck's on our side because we don't get the next one for free until level 15. Maybe we hit level 15, but maybe not. I don't know. Time will tell. We shall see. That's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.